Well, a very interesting article in today's uh, uh, Wall Street Journal, uh, Section A, headline, Health Care and the $20,000 Bruise. This uh, article takes up one-third of a page. And it's about a, a young family who had uh, a, um, a little kid, a three-year-old kid who bumped his head, falling off his scooter, and it went 11 days, and he's starting to get a bump on his head 11 days later, so they took him in. Uh, to see the um, uh, doctor in a pediatric emergency room. And um, when they walked out after 15 minutes, oh, the bill was $20,000, $20,000. And they complained, and they said, well, you know, we had to activate the emergency crew, and we had to call doctors and nurses and blah, 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 and he had a CAT scan. But for 15 minutes, $20,000. Well, and what it turned out to be was a healed Bruise with just a little bit of edema, no need for any treatment. Hmm? $20,000 just for the exam, 15 minutes. And the, uh, after all kinds of haggling and everything, the hospital refused to change the bill. Uh, insurance wound up paying $17,000, and the family wound up paying 3000 Well, that goes into the story that was, uh, came out uh, September 2012. It was a front-page story in many newspapers across the nation. Each year in America, medical doctors bill patients and insurance companies for the patients um, $750 billion, that's three quarters of a trillion dollars, for unneeded treatments, for fraudulent charges, for treatments they did that the patient didn't need, or treatments that they didn't do or they billed for. Okay, $750 billion. Three quarters of a trillion dollars, that's 30 cents out of every medical dollar billed to the insurance companies and the individual. What I want you to do is contact your young DB associate and say, look, we don't want to be victims to the medical system like people were victims to Bernie Madoff. He went to jail for life plus 150 years for, for um, defrauding his investors of somewhere between $3 billion and $5 billion. Here's a handful of medical doctors who are defrauding their patients of $750 billion. This is a yearly figure, a yearly figure. Nobody gets their license suspended for three seconds. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody pays a fine the size of a barking ticket. And so what I want you to do is get uh, two things. One, I want you to get the book Epigenetics, The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission, Epigenetics, and learn about disease and learn everything you can think of about disease and what you need to do to prevent them, what you need to do to reverse diseases. We want to take the doctor out of the loop here. Then for trauma, what I want you to do is get a hold of the book God Bless America and the Trilogy of Books. Now, God Bless America and the Trilogy of Books will teach you how to use the same test strips your doctor uses in his office when he gives you a, an exam. You can go to a pharmacy without a prescription, get the same test strips for blood tests, for urine tests, for a, um, um, a colonoscopic exam. You're not going to stick a garden hose up your rump, but what you're going to use is what's called an occult blood test or a... FIT test, it's an acronym for fecal immunochemical test, which is the equivalent in accuracy of the colonoscopic exam. So you can do a $2,000 exam, including all the blood tests, urinalysis, um, things like um, uh, a, now they even have apps for EKGs you can, on your phone, and you can do certainly your own blood pressure and pulse at home, all for like less than five bucks. And uh, I urge you to do these things. Get a hold of that trilogy books. It'll tell you how to interpret the numbers, and uh, you'll save yourself $2,000. Plus, you won't have things on your record. Let's say you're kind of a pre-diabetic, and you say, uh-oh, my blood sugar jumped up to 180. They're going to diagnose you with diabetes if you go see a doctor. But if you do it yourself and you get on the healthy blood sugar pack and your blood sugar drops back down below 100 in a couple of days uh, without medication, that doesn't go on your record. Your insurance rates are not going to go up. Uh, you're not going to lose a promotion potential because they look at your health record and say, oh, now this job is going to require somebody who's not going to be sick all the time, and the fact that you now are diabetic and you're a little overweight, uh, you, 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 we're going to not let you get this promotion because we're worried about your health. And so this will uh, do a lot for increasing the quality of your life, extending your life by getting that trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport to Room Therapy, and learning how to deal with over 900 different diseases using vitamins and minerals and trace minerals and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, and aromatherapy all. So it's a trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport to Room Therapy. 
and don't forget epigenetics, the death of the genetic theory of disease transmission. It goes into all the diseases that are said to be genetically transmitted, you know, like heart disease and Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, arthritis, high blood pressure, um, blindness, and things like cataracts and macular degeneration, diseases that are said to be autoimmune, which are really just simple nutritional deficiencies, uh, and so forth. And the book Epigenetics will save your family millions of dollars and add many healthy years to your life. And again, the trilogy of books, learn how to do your own physical. You can go to the, remember, you can go to the pharmacy without a prescription and get the same test strips your doctor's going to use in his office when he does a $2,000 physical on you. You can get those same test strips for less than five bucks. Each one of them costs a buck fifty. So if you get three of them, you're talking about four dollars and fifty cents for everything your doctor would do to you, except for blood pressure and EKG, which you can do uh, with a, your own um, blood pressure machine and also an app on your telephone. Would you look at that? Contact your young TV associate today and say, "I want Epigenetics, the book. I want the trilogy of books. Let's play Doctor. Let's play Herbal Doctor and Passport Aromatherapy. And by saving your family, you're going to save America." Be back. After these messages. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us? Well, I thought we'd talk a little bit about uh, surgeons, as a study from Britain has found that they found a new way to be able to harm and kill people. According to this Fox News story that's headlined, The Most Accident Prone Drivers, Surgeons, according to this study. And it was a, an analysis that was commissioned by a financial services firm, MoneySupermarket.com found that surgeons were the most likely to file an at-fault claim at the rate of 361 per 1,000 over a five-year period, and nine of the rest of the top ten professions likeliest to cause accidents were also medical workers, including psychologists and nurses, according to The Guardian. They say probation officers who spend a lot of time on the road were also in the top ten of the analysis, which was based on more than two million insurance claims. And according to the company, a car expert from that company says, it seems those who have the responsibility of saving our lives and caring for our health are also the most accident pro drivers. He says maybe a lack of time or tiredness could be behind many of the accidents. There are also some surprises at the bottom end of this scale. So the most of the uh, 10 professionals least likely to cause car accidents were assorted kinds of office clerks, but it also notes that uh, carnival employees, car wash attendants, and slaughterhouse workers were also in the bottom 10 of those causing the most accidents. So, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me because they're reckless in their own, in, you know, in their own profession, so why wouldn't they be reckless out on the road? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, um, there was a, a story that came out about a week ago on um, Fox News, and I haven't seen it in print. You might be able to find this on Fox News online because you're a, a techie guy. But um, basically they said per surgery, per surgery in the United States, there's 22 mistakes in each surgery. They did this by filming a bunch of surgeries, and they counted the number of mistakes that were done per surgeries on the average 22. And it was Wall Street Journal that came out last year in 2013, and they said... Uh, each surgeon um, performs um, what I guess they say commit, I guess is a word, um, thousands of errors each year. Each surgeon commits thousands of errors each year, and the average is 22 errors per surgery. So if they do 10 surgeries in a day, that's uh, uh, 220 errors per day. Five days are over 1,000 oh, errors. And so that article in 2013, which said each year, American surgeons, each year, each surgeon, each surgeon makes more than a 1,000 errors and, um, during their surgeries. And so this is pretty scary stuff. And so I really, again, thank you for bringing that up. Uh, it just kind of fits the ongoing story here. Only dead doctors don't lie. And uh, you may be better and safer going to a slaughterhouse worker than you are to a surgeon when it comes to uh, safety. Um, and I think it's an arrogance they have uh, is where I'm coming from. I'm a pathologist, and I used to see the wreckage on the pathology autopsy table. And um, there's a lot of arrogance associated with surgeons. You know, they're, uh, they think they're gods, and uh, so they just come in there cutting and slashing their, their uh, care. I, I know one Marine who was killed by a dental surgeon, um, an oral surgeon, uh, who couldn't count the sponges and left a sponge in her. She's a, a woman Marine. And she had swallowed the, 
the sponge, and it, by friction going up and down her esophagus, it eroded the esophagus, and she bled to death in the recovery room from swallowing a sponge during surgery. And so, I mean, she shouldn't have gotten out of the surgery room if they couldn't find the sponge, okay? And they should have done an ultrasound or something. They'd find it. Well, um, these are the sort of things you just want to make you cry on one hand, but you want to strangle the surgeon on the other because they killed an, uh, an, act, an active Marine with a sponge. And this Marine had dodged bullets of the, of the war zones. That they, uh, an oral surgeon in America kills this Marine with a surgical sponge. Good gracious. Okay, well, thank you so much, Doug, and stick with us. We'll be back with more Truth, Justice, and the Yongevity Way on Dead Doctors Don't Lie after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. All right, let's head to Idaho and Eldora. You're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Eldora. You're on the air. Hi, thank you, Dr. Wallach, for taking my call and yes, for giving us the opportunity to have the tools to get our health back. I'm excited. Okay, good. Um, How can my, I help you? My question has to do with hepatitis C. I'm newly introduced to longevity, um, but my husband has had hepatitis C. Probably found out about it four years ago. Uh, anyway, long story short, I listened to one of the recordings where it was identical to my husband's situation. So, bought all the the uh, products to get him started on it, and he's been on it for about a week. And the last two days of this past week, he's had the reaction of uh, diarrhea, mm-hmm. really bad. Okay, so, so how much does he weigh? He's now about 215. I think he's lost about five pounds or so. Okay. Now, does he have any history of uh, anything like asthma, bronchitis? No. Okay. Do you ever have his appendix out? No, but he's lost his spleen because of a motorcycle accident. Okay. Well, that's trauma. That won't count, but thanks for that information. Um, (laughs) Does he ever have any history of skin problems, any eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or rosacea? Um, no, no, nothing like that. He does have those, I don't know what you call those skin blemishes, the little lumps, you know, that develop on your skin. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not sure what you call those. Okay, the skin tags? Yeah. Yeah, little skin tags sometimes, uh, they're the size of a head of a pin, sometimes they're the size of a Cheerios kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, well, hang on. Uh, we'll be back, and we'll give you some guidance here. And ask a couple more questions, and we'll tell you what we think you might need to do. We'll be back with more Truth, Justice, and the Young Divity Way on Dead Doctors Don't Lie for these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go right back to Idaho and Eldora. Okay, um, uh, we have a 1,000 products, and you say your husband's using our products. What products is he, or is he using? Well, right now he's he's um, on Selenium, um, this Cell Shield, RTQ, the D stress caps. Um, I also, uh, he's also um, having the uh, triple treat chocolate um, along with the Healthy Start Pack. And the Healthy Start Pack, um, he's doing four scoops in the morning and four in the evening. Okay, you're talking about the t- Beyond Tang Tangerine? Yes, Beyond Tang yeah. Tangerine. He's yeah. having okay. a difficulty. With that flavor, um, although he's okay, sticking now, with it. <laughs> okay. Now, are you talking about the the original blue top canister or the um, two point orange top canister? Yeah, it's the peach fusion. The peach fusion. Okay. Um, yeah, I would cut the dose instead of four scoops in the morning and four scoops in the evening. I would cut it to two scoops twice a day. Okay. That alone might be the problem because there's. Um, 115 fruits and vegetables and berries in there, and that's a lot of fruit and vegetables. Um, and so uh, I would cut that dose in half. Instead of four scoops twice a day, I'd give them two scoops twice a day. And then uh, you, you should know in a day or two, make sure he's drinking plenty of fluids and liquids. Wouldn't hurt for him to use the Rebound, which is our sports drink that has uh, 100 nutrients in it. Uh, most other sports drinks have somewhere between two and six nutrients in it. Ours is the only one in the market that has 100. And that'll replace anything he's losing with the diarrhea. But he should be able to uh, deal with the diarrhea uh, by, and I'm assuming he never had that problem before, correct? Correct. Okay. It was just the last couple of days yeah. that he 
have that reaction. Okay, well, I would I would go ahead. You say he's been using the product for a week? Yes. Okay, yeah, I would go ahead and cut that dose in half. Okay, just two scoops twice a day instead of four scoops twice a day. Then give us a call. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. All right, let's head to Florida. And Sandra, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Sandra, you're on the air. Yes, doctor. Yes, I've had a problem. And my sugar is always high. And my pressure. Okay, tell me about your sugar. Are you diagnosed with diabetes? Yes, yes. And I your, When you pressure. say it's high, what does your sugar run? Oh, sometimes two, 200. Okay. And what about your blood pressure? I always to 200, 170. Okay. And what about your high blood pressure? It's about 170 most times. Okay. Um, one, well, there's two numbers. What's the high, what's the upper number? Oh, like 90, 85. Okay, 190 over what? 170. Sometimes 200. Okay. And how much do you weigh? One. Okay, we'll be back after these messages. Okay. Doug, we're going right back to Fowler and Sandra. Okay. Shaw, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I went off the air. We were able to get her blood pressure is 170 over 90, so it is high. And... Um, um, her blood sugar is high. It's running 200, 190 to 200. And so she's got, uh, she has diabetes. She's got high blood pressure, and she weighs 130 pounds. What would you do for her? Um, I would give her one healthy blood sugar pack, and I would also give her the ultimate daily just in case it's a kidney problem. Okay. Very, very good. And so that covers the blood pressure. That covers the diabetes. And I might even throw in an extra bottle of the Sweeties um, so that she could have three twice a day. Um, you're exactly right. The uh, healthy blood sugar pack uh, that will also allow her and, and we get that extra bottle of sweeties, so she could have three at breakfast, three at dinner. I'd give her one um, tablespoon of the Osu FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, uh, one scoop of the Beyond Tangerine 2.0 Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, and the three EFA Pluses. I'd give her one three times a day. And she has a history of a stroke, and that's why she's a little befuddled and having difficulty answering the question. She had a stroke, and so. Uh, this is where the EFA pluses are going to do remarkable things for her by reducing her risk of stroke uh, because thrombotic stroke, where you get a blood clot in the brain, is actually caused by an omega-3 essential fatty acid deficiency or a omega-3, omega-6, omega-9 ratio problems. And when you have a stroke, you have a heart attack, none of it is due to cholesterol. So forget the cholesterol piece. Uh, that is very exciting information, of course. And, uh, Doug, we got time to start another one? We certainly do. Let's head to Washington State. And Cindy, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Cindy, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Uh, Hi. Thank you, so much. thank you so much for your contribution to our world. I just am amazed. Well, thank you. You're so uh, sweet. How can we help you? Uh, well, I have so many things going on. I don't know what to talk about. I did say something about diabetes. I've never been to the doctor, um, but my feet are swollen. My ankles are swollen. There's you know, purple, red. Uh, this has been going on for about five years. My heart rate, you know, flies as I eat the wrong thing. Um, also, I had vitiligo as a child, so a lot of my skin is now uh, no pigment, um, a lot of back pain, a lot of no. stuff. And okay, I know I'm no. not supposed to say too much, so I'm just going to... Okay. Um, now, wait a minute. Um, let's see, how old are you? I am 53. Okay. And what do you weigh? About 250. 250? Yes. And how tall are you? How tall am I? 5'4". Uh, yes. Okay. How much would you like to weigh? Well, uh, maybe 115. 115? Yes. Okay. Okay, Char, this is a Char thing. Mm -hmm. Um you know, vitiligo is yeah. a loss of you know, skin color. Yeah, that's definitely a gluten problem, no question about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And let's see here. She's got diabetes, and she's got edema of her feet, and she's about 130 pounds overweight. Right. So, she so needs, what would you do for all that? Well, she needs at least two healthy blood sugar packs. Okay. And she really should have, 
she needs the ultimate daily too because she's got yeah she needs she needs the ultimate daily definitely okay and, and what uh, would you do for her back problem uh glucogel of course mm-hmm good okay you're exactly 100 percent right on good girl and so what would you do for her weight challenge what would you throw in for her weight well, she's got a lot of weight to lose, so I would give her the ASAP because that stuff really works. Mm-hmm. It does. I mean, we've seen a lot of people lose 100, 140 pounds in 100 days. It's amazing stuff. Okay, so you're exactly right. At 250 pounds, what I would recommend, Cindy, based on Char's recommendations, um, I'd have you take two healthy blood sugar packs per month, and I'd get an extra bottle of Sweeties so you could take nine a day, three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner. Um, that'll also allow you to have... Um, one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Ante Tangerine 2.0 Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner. Also, um, I would have you get uh, two bottles of Glucogel, so you could take 20 a day, five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner, and five at bedtime with a glass of water. That'll be 20 a day, so it'll take two bottles a month of the Glucogel to do that. And um, uh, for the weight, Char is exactly right. Uh, I'd have you um, uh, take. Uh, I'd have you get two bottles of the ASAP. Put a dropper full under your tongue 30 minutes before each meal. Uh, let it absorb through your oral tissues. Do not swallow it. Then 15 minutes later, 15 minutes before your meal, put a second dropper full under your tongue. So you're going to put two droppers full under your tongue prior to your meal. One 30 minutes before the meal. One 15 minutes before the meal. If I didn't say it, uh, because you got the two healthy blood sugar packs, uh, you're going to take um, uh, four of the sweeties three times a day because you're going to get an extra bottle of Sweeties. So you could take four or three times a day. It would be 12 a day of the Sweeties. And then uh, give us a call every couple of weeks because you're going to do well. You're, you're going to do well. We want to know your weight. We want to know your blood pressure. We want to know your blood sugar. And we'll walk you through this. And um, uh, we'll start after you start talking with us. You might even want to throw in. What would you throw in, Char, for the vitiligo? For the vitiligo, hair, skin, and nails. Okay, very good. Throw in the hair, skin, and nails. I'd go ahead and take three of those twice a day. That's two bottles a month. And then um, give us a call every couple of weeks, if you would, Cindy, and we'll walk you through this. Okay, Doug, do we have time to start another one? We certainly do. Let's head to Wyoming. And, Jack, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Jack, you're on the air. Hello, doctor. Um, I have a friend, a young lady, uh, no, a middle-aged woman, 56 years old, weighs about 180 pounds. Five foot two, and she has fibromyalgia. And then I have a couple of problems of myself. I'm 59. Okay, wait a minute. I we have... only do one, one at a time here. Okay, okay so um, she, let's see here. Uh, do you know if she has any skin problems, any eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis? No, uh, she doesn't have that. Okay, does she have any uh, respiratory stuff, bronchitis, asthma, or COPD? No, but twice in her life she had pneumonia. Okay. Does she ever have any bowel problems, you know, anything like irritable bowel syndrome or celiac disease or appendicitis? No. Okay. Okay, Char. This is a Char thing. Fibromyalgia, 180-pound lady, 5'2". So I'd like her at 5'2". I want to see her weigh about 110, 115. So what would you do about the weight problem? What would you do about the fibromyalgia? Well, she needs to get on. I would say she should get on the two of the healthy, healthy start pack 2.0. Okay. And ASAP for the weight, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, I throw in uh, two bottles a month of the glucogel, so you can take 15 of those a day. Right. And two bottles a month of the of the um, uh, selenium, so you can have three of those twice a day. And Jack, uh, give give us a call about this lady every two weeks. I want to know her weight. As uh, Char says, ASAP, she could have a dropper full under her tongue 30 minutes before each meal, one bottle a month. I want to know her weight, her blood pressure, how her pain is going. And she should show great benefit very quickly. We'll be back after these messages. We're back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Divinity, 90 for Life Crusade. And, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Indiana. And, Nick, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Nick. You're on the air. Hey, Dr. Wallach. Just want to say God bless. Thanks for all that you do. We appreciate it. That's very kind. Thank you. I accept the blessing. Thank you. 
you. Um, just two quick questions. Uh, the first one pertains to my aunt. Uh, she's actually my pastor as well, and she's 75 years old, and she's always been kind of overweight. And um, she has a funny situation where, um, although it's not so funny, uh, recently she um, has had a severe magnesium deficiency. And the hospitals give her uh, multiple weekly IV injections, and they fill her with mag, but the next week it drops back down to 0. 0.9 to 1, basically that of a dead person. Is that based on a blood test? Well, uh, yes, they do that, the blood oh, test. Does she have any symptoms like constipation or uh, muscle cramps or what? Well, you know, she used to have, she used to have, she had her gallbladder out a couple years ago, and she used to have, uh, like, constant diarrhea with the bowel syndrome. And uh, not an irritable bowel, just basically food would move right through her. Now, kind of like the colitis? Right, right. And it stopped recently, but um, the thing is, is that they still, they really can't pinpoint it. And our thought was it's just something deficient that won't absorb the magnesium. Yeah, well, what does she weigh? She weighs probably about 265 right now, something 265? like that. 265? Yeah. And how she's tall is about, she? She's only about 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, something like that. Okay. Okay, Shar, this is a Shar thing. Gallbladder out, diarrhea. No, because she needs the enzymes for gallbladder in a bottle enzymes, but she also mm-hmm. needs three uh, healthy, healthy uh, start packs, 2.0. Okay, three healthy start packs and the ultimate, ultimate got, enzymes. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's I'd got, have her take two of those before each meal with a couple ounces of water. But what dietary change would you give her? She's had pain in her upper right side, gallbladder taken out, diarrhea... She needs to get on a gluten-free diet immediately. That's the problem. There you go. And what would you do? Uh, she needs to lose about a hundred and about a hundred and oh, hundred and forty pounds. How would you help her do that? ASAP. 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 I'd I'd give her two bottles a month, Nick, uh, of the um, uh, ASAP. Uh, put a dropper full under her tongue, not a drop, but a dropper full under her tongue, thirty minutes before each meal, and a dropper full under her tongue, fifteen minutes before each meal. Let it absorb through her oral tissues. Um, one healthy start pack twice uh, a month. Uh, so that's a full dose of everything twice a day. That's an ounce of the Osteo at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Ontane Tangerine 2.0 at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Plus as a breakfast and dinner. And then again, that ultimate enzymes, I'd give her two of those two to five minutes before each meal, a couple ounces of, of water. And uh, the two bottles of the ASAP, you're going to solve her problem. And I don't know that we have enough time to get a second question in, but let's try it. Well, just curious, the last thing is a general question, but for severe anxiety, what would you suggest? What kind of pack? Okay, for anxiety, um, I would get people on a gluten-free diet. I'd put them on uh, one healthy blood sugar pack per 100 pounds of body weight, um, three of the de-stress capsules twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight, and especially gluten-free, and then um, uh, panic attacks, anxiety attacks oftentimes not always, but oftentimes are related to blood sugar rises and falls, and so um, that oftentimes will take care of it. Okay, uh, give us a call every couple of weeks uh, on the general question, also on your aunt's uh, re- you know, situation. Okay, Doug, how much time we got? You got about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take it and just urge everybody to get my new book, uh, which is just out, Epigenetics, The Death of the Genetic Theories of Disease Transmission. This is pretty crazy. All the diseases that have said to be genetically transmitted or not, they're all caused by nutritional deficiencies and or uh, free radical damage and so forth. Cholesterol has nothing to do with anything. Uh, cholesterol deficiencies contribute to uh, the formation of Alzheimer's disease. I mean, you're gonna, it's going to blow your mind when you read this book, Epigenetics, The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission, and uh, get a hold of the book, God Bless America, and learn how to defend your home, how to survive everything, including an invasion by ISIL or ISIS. Uh, They're claiming that they're not stopping until they raise their flag above our White House. So be prepared because anything can happen. If you're going to be on the front lines, you need to be prepared to get a hold of that book, God Bless America. And by saving yourselves, you'll save America. And uh, I I urge you to contact your young DVD associate and, uh, you know, get involved and, uh, you know, earn a paycheck from us. And save people. I mean, how good is that? You're helping people, and we'll actually pay you to do it. Well, thank you, everybody. Really great testimonies and questions today. Thank you so much, Char. Super job. Thank you so much, Doug and Susan. Superlative job as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America.